Hi, my name is Mohamed Suhail and welcome to our poster on energy-based learning for scene graph generation. Scene graphs are graph-based representations that encode the different objects in an image and the relational dependencies between them. Let's first take a look at a general scene graph training pipeline. Given an image, as shown here, it's first passed through an object detector to identify regions of interest. Features are then extracted from these regions and classified to obtain an initial estimate of the object labels. The features, along with the object labels, are then encoded into node states with fixed connectivity structures. These states are then refined using context encoding layers such as LSTM, GNN, etc. to obtain the scene graph predictions. Finally, during training, the learning signal is estimated by aggregating the independently computed cross-entropy losses of the individual entities. A major problem with such a framework is that structural information is completely lost, thus depriving the model of any context-based relational reasoning capability. This brings us to the central question in our paper. Is structure important for scene graph training? To understand this better, let's take an example scene graph of a person standing on a rock in front of a wave. Now consider two predictions of scene graphs for this image where in the first prediction, in front of is misclassified as near, and in the second it is misclassified as riding. A cross-entropy-based method that considers the relationships independently will assign nearly equal values of loss for either relations. However, looking at the graph we can deduce that near is a far more likely relationship between person and wave than riding given that the person is standing on a rock. Instead, what we want is to be able to compute losses that take into consideration the entire scene graph configuration and estimate losses for either graph such that loss 1 is less than loss 2. In this paper, we propose an energy-based learning framework that facilitates such structural reasoning in scene graph generation models. Energy models are functions that encode dependencies between variables by assigning scalar energy values to input configurations. A high energy for a configuration corresponds to a less stable state. For our task of scene graph generation, we want to learn energy functions such that plausible scene graph configurations have lower energy when compared to less likely scene graphs. In the example we saw before, we want to learn an energy function such that E1 greater than E2 greater than E3, where the ground truth scene graph on the right has the least energy and an unlikely scene graph like the one on the left has a high energy value. Let's now take a look at how the training pipeline changes. Here, we have the traditional training pipeline that we introduced in the beginning. In our framework, we add two additional units, one that extracts an image graph, where the node states correspond to the extracted features of the objects. The second is the energy computation unit that takes as input the scene graph and the image graph to compute the energy of the joint configuration. To train the energy model, we use a generalized perceptron loss, which takes the form shown. The first term corresponds to the energy value of the image and ground truth scene graph. The second term involves an optimization problem to find a scene graph configuration with minimum energy. This term is computed approximately using stochastic gradient Langevin dynamics, or SGLD. In addition to the generalized perceptron loss, we add two regularization terms, LR, which constrains the energy values to a reasonable limit, and LT, which is a loss such as a cross-entropy loss that is used by the underlying scene graph generation model. This term forces the model to provide a better initialization for the energy-based optimization. We use mean recall as the primary metric for scene graph evaluation. We benchmark our method against various scene graph generation models on two datasets. We observe consistent improvement in the mean recall value across different tasks when using the proposed energy framework. We also test our framework on the zero short recall metric and notice similar trends where we consistently outperform the baseline training mechanism. Finally, to investigate the data efficiency of our framework, we propose to use a few short recall metric that performs evaluations on relation triplets that occur a certain number of times in the dataset. As shown in the graph on the right, we observe larger improvements in performance when we have fewer number of relation annotations available. Here we show an example of a predicted scene graph. A model trained using our framework is able to predict granular and informative relations such as in front of, standing on, and looking at, as opposed to on and near, by the baseline. For additional results, details, and discussions, please find our paper and code online. Thank you.